Hello and welcome back. We're at Joseph's party. We're gonna go hang out with Joseph and a bunch of other people. We're gonna mingle with the neighbors. Yes. Oh god, what was the? I don't remember Joseph's voice. Okay. <laughs> I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Wow, that's so nice. So nice. Oh, I mean, it's still nice. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. And you brought veggies. Oh. Uh, let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come on over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Oh. Hi! <laughs> oh. This is Christian and Christy. They're twins. They stare creepily oh, God. and say nothing. Oh, God. Oh. Hey. Then, of course, there's our youngest, Chris. I hate Man, him. yeah, I was gonna say. I, I hate he, he got worse. At first, I liked him. Well, wait, where's Chris? Uh, maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh, no. It's the woman from the Oh, bar, my the God! Other. What is she doing here? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, how oh my god. How could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Oh, shit. She's a hoe. I mean, he's probably also... She's a hoe for Jesus. Dang right. Oh. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Ah, Mary, sweetheart. Did you put Chris to bed? Oh. Okay. I'll have to go look for him. Uh, mm. What? You'll have to... Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Oh. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Julian, and his daughter, Amanda. Ah. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. <laughs> I love her. Nice to, uh, meet you, Mary, for the first time. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. I don't like her. Yeah. Mary oh, leaves. Man. Oh, God, this is so awkward. Is I wonder if oh, Joseph boy. knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. It takes all of my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. <laughs> uh, my wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All you guys are... All the guys are ready... Uh, all the guys are really excited to meet you. And I'm excited to meet them. Here, let me introduce you around. Please. Oh. Let me introduce you to introduce you to Damien. Oh, this is the this is the Joseph yes. beckons a tall man in gothic attire all over to the conversation. Good eve, friends. Ah, yes, Castlevania. Hello. Castlevania oh. is actually what it's called. Oh. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Uh, uh, Damien, this is our new fr neighbor, Julian. Ah, so lovely to meet you. Damien shakes my hand and, and then bow. bows. Oh. If you ever, in if you're ever interested, it would bring me great pleasure to host you for a spot on afternoon tea. Uh, I like him. Actually, really wow. Like him. Uh, yeah, that's, cape, that sounds man. rad. Splendid. Well, I must be off. Perhaps our paths shall cross again. Here's here's hoping. Damn, what a classy yeah, dude. dude. Yeah, wow. Man. Okay, I think I've actually met everybody else. Uh, great. I, I bet you're excited to get to know everybody better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick at some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Ah, ah, I don't want to have to make friends. Oh, come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I'm off to school? But I don't want to have to do pleasantries. <laughs> Dad. Ah, we're going to talk about weather. Dude, I love our character. Yeah. Go, do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child as social function? That's bad parenting. This is a plate of cookies is my new... Oh, wait. This, <laughs> this plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. Amanda shows me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the, at the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee spot? Oh, God, his voice. Didn't I meet that guy at the bar? Oh. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee in my head? That mysterious goth guy. Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, Craig. <laughs> but wait a second. All of these people live in a cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Talk to uh, Damien. Damien and Joseph. I want to know more about Dame. Or burger. Do you want to get a burger? No, we'll talk to Yeah, we'll talk. We gotta talk to people. Okay. I spot Joseph chatting with Damien by the grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. Hmm. So, um, so I'm curious. Can you walk me through why you would want to your house painted black? 
Huh. Where do I even start? The house stays warmer in the winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood, and it complements the crimson interior perfectly. Yeah. It's definitely an interesting choice. Thank oh. you. I'm very proud of my ad abode. Abode? 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 Oh, uh, Jolian! I was just having a conversation with Damien here about, uh, oh, about wait, oh, uh, here about his aesthetic desi uh, designs. Uh, greetings once again, Jolian. Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. Hmm. Are you enjoying the party so far? Oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Hmm? Amanda walks up to the conversation. I thought you said you had a new dad. Hi! It's Damien, right? My name's Amanda. At your service. With a pleasure it is it is to meet you. Oh, fuck. She's going to wingman us. That's what she's going to do. Oh, yeah. She's going to be like, so our dad's single. Oh. Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow, producing a single rose and offering it oh, to Oh, shit. Ah, he's a magician. Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. My, do you know how to treat a lady? Hey. We should say. Okay, so yeah. Hello, Amanda. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twins kids appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Uh, hey. Won't, Won't you come, come play, play with us? Uh, come, come play, play with, with us forever. <laughs> Guys, uh, enough with the creepy twin shtick. We're, we've talked about this. Christian and Christy slowly back away. Where do you think you got that from? Mary mm. pops into the conversation, wine in of hand. Of course, of course. Mm. I, uh, d don't know. Mary takes a long sip of wine. <clears throat> I think I might have taped over the VeggieTales VHS with The Shining. Who knows? <coughs> she takes another sip of her wine. <laughs> uh, where's Krish? Wasn't he with you? You had him a moment ago. He's probably stuff, stuffing dirt in his mouth. He's be all, he'll be alright. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Yes, they're like rubber. They are. <laughs> Made from horses. Mary tips her glass at, to me. Ain't my first time out to the rodeo. It's my fourth. I have squeezed four little... Sweetheart, would you do me a favor and please find Krish? That would be great. I'm sure he's fine. Mary? Okay, jeez. Ah. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. Oh, oh, it's that fucker! Oh my god, it was... Uh, Dad, can we go now? Hmm. Uh, Lucian, have I introduced you to Jolian yet? Hey, it's that little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I remember right. you. Whatever. That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Lucian bows. <laughs> the fuck? <sighs> Whatever, sir. Lucian bows again. Mr. Christensen, may I have a veggie burger, sir? Uh, coming right up, bud. Uh, are you a vegetarian? Yep. Make that two veggie burgers. Do you know that some people in the Victorian era were vegetarians? They described carnivorous, carnivorous type people as blood lappers. D Dad, uh, that's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the grill. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his oh. sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Uh, whoa! Is that a tattoo? Uh, yep, I wasn't. I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. That's so cool. You want to see mine? Uh, oh, what? Luce, 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 Luce. back some of her bands, revealing a lopsided six 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 and black ink. Oh, Told you. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. My buddy gave me a stick and poked today. Oh, who is this? Oh, it's Lucian. Well, whatever. Poked a ta uh, poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucian. We'll talk about this later. Uh, that's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Uh, well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. C 
careful though. The number, the number, the number carries weight. Well, yes, it's a yes, really high one, number. Yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's all big, you know. Yeah. If it's six hundred sixty pounds, my goodness. Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. Sounds I like bet you he was a sailor. Seaman. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say sailor, but yours is funnier. <laughs> Robert and Brian, Matt oh, Hugo man. and Craig. Uh, you know what? We could probably talk to one of these guys on the next episode. Is it? Yeah, right? It's, that conversation went by quick. Fuck. So, we're going to have to see. All right, who are we going to talk to next time? You don't know. Maybe. Let us know in the comments. Yay! Because it's going to have so much weight so much in weight. what we do. You guys, choose your own adventure. Choose the adventure. Choose okay. it. Choose it. Bye.